Hey guys, just uh, wanted to give you an update of uh, what I'm doing here on the uh, solar shed. Um, basically out here working, I've, I've put myself a, a disconnect switch, um, my solar charge controller and my amp meter um, sort of on, on this swing out panel so I can access the wires. It's just in construction, I've just been working on it uh, in the last couple hours. So basically how I understand it is I have the positive coming in from the panel which goes into the switch and then tracks over to the ammeter and then from the meter into the positive side of the charge controller and then the negative um, I'm assuming just bypasses right past the switch and goes right into the negative on here so that I guess you just cut the power off out of the positive section um, of the switch here which the panel's not hooked up to right now but anyways that's my understanding. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I've done here uh, lately. Here I've moved it and cleaned up some wires. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should I should cut this out here and and just you know set this flat in here flush and and just clean it up a bit. And uh, I left a little room here for a voltmeter that I've ordered and has yet to show up. Um, this here is a, a solar charge controller which I'm not too familiar with and the the instructions are really basic. It's just a basic 10 amp. Uh, MPPT, uh, I'm not sure what the 15 means, but it's, anyways, it's rated for 10 amps. Um, the battery light uh, changes, obviously, different color LEDs based on the voltage of your battery, um, your load, and then your charge. And here you can see uh, positive and negative for the panel, the batteries, and then your load. Um, I've gone ahead and wired most of it up, and I've plugged the batteries onto it. And for whatever reason, this load light comes on and stays on, and I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if anybody has one of these uh, charge controllers themselves. Um, I don't know uh, exactly why that is, but we'll have to see uh, see what happens. Uh, maybe it's because the batteries are low and it's, it's acting up. I don't know. Anyways, um, I've gone ahead and put this 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter thingy in here just for small accessories. Um, I've got flashlights, fans, whatever I can plug in there. Um, or I sometimes use this uh, motor master inverter, plug it in there and then just charge uh, you know anything under 75 watts basically. Um, I don't have the panel hooked up. Um, this is the panel um, that you guys have seen before. Um, it's only 40 watts. It's a monocrystalline panel. Um, it's got these MC4 connectors on the back. I'm not exactly sure what size wire I should be using to wire this in. Um, the wires that I was showing you on the charge controller there are 14 gauge, so I'm not sure if that's heavy enough, but I'm going to see how it goes. You can see the uh, panel's rated for, I can hold this camera steady, maximum power 40 volts, or 40 watts, sorry, and open circuit voltage 22.3. Rated current input, 2.2 amps, and so on. So, hopefully, this panel works out. It's got a nice junction box on the back. So, I'm not sure, uh, I don't have any more of this wire, so I'm not sure if I'm going to cut the ends off this one or just disconnect them up here and run all separate wires. But uh, if anybody has any suggestions on what size gauge wire it is, I haven't quite figured out uh, how to calculate that based on the voltage. But, um, Anyhow, I have to put that up, and that can wait until tomorrow or the day after when the sun's out. Um, here's the batteries for now. You guys have seen these before. I just have them wired up together. You know, you can see you've got the negative going to the negative, and then the positive uh, over to the positive side. And for now, I just have this um, alligator clip that I just clip onto the battery, and that'll put power up to the charge controller. Uh, if I want to put a load on it because the panel's not on so it's not going to charge it. Um, I'm thinking it'd be a good idea to put one of these inline fuses somewhere between the batteries and the uh, charge controller and uh, maybe also a disconnect switch. I should get another disconnect switch I think and shut it off so that if I want to do work um, up on the charge controller or up on the panel I can I can shut down the power coming in from the solar panel and then maybe one underneath to shut the battery bank off in case I have to do any any service work over here. I don't have to worry about getting, you know, electrocuted. Um, I don't know. I think maybe here I'll put, 
an inverter or maybe just a regular household uh, uh, wall plug and then run some wires up in behind here and uh, put an inverter on this wall and then run an extension cord through and come out and just keep everything neat and have a little plug right here. Um, still open to ideas. There you can see I've powered up the uh, charge controller and it's showing there's a load. Now I've pressed uh, the reset button, let it go, and it just comes right back. So not too sure what that's about. Anyways, there's no load on it. I don't think I have any wires shorting out that it's drawing power. So, yeah, don't know. Um, if anybody has any answers or suggestions that I could check, or maybe I should phone the manufacturer. Um, anyways, uh, here's the little inverter just to show here that this works, and the little LED comes on. And I can plug in my DeWalt, uh, DeWalt battery charger into it. There it goes, charges the battery for the drill. And the load light hasn't changed. Weird. Anyways, um, I gotta finish wiring this in uh, to the back side and put a line from here into, I believe, the positive, which is gonna come from the switch from the panel into here and out into the positive into there, which I've just simply Drilled some holes and ran some wires in there just to keep it neat uh, for now. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of in a construction mode, so everything is kind of uh, messy here. I need to put a little piece of conduit tubing here up against the wall and keep these wires nice and clean and tight against the wall so I don't bump them and pull them out and have an accident. This whole unit just uh, basically swings out. If I can get myself enough slack on these. And here's the back of the ammeter. You can see I butchered here. Um, so I'll put my other lead onto here and then run it into my charge controller. And then you can see my positive line going over to the switch. And then I'll just tie this up nice and neat. And twist a knot into her and get it all tied up nice and neat and clean everything up here. Uh, get a merit put on here and and maybe solder that up. That's just an extension cable coming from the 12 volt cigarette lighter up to the charge controller. The wire wasn't quite long enough. I would like to use different color wires for positive and negative but uh, I just happen to have this 14 gauge wire and it's nice and thick and it seems heavy. Um, so I just used what I had to get uh, get things started here. Anyways, close that up. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about uh, getting this panel mounted and uh, Hopefully uh, I can get that inverter and uh, with any luck maybe a grid tie here and, and when my batteries are full and I'm not using anything, um, I can grid tie the rest of it.